Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. I often receive the question, which laptop should I buy for coding? And it is a fair question. You see a lot of people running around on Instagram with their $2,500 16-inch MacBook Pros, showing it off, doing web development or whatever. And if I was just starting out learning to code, I would also ask the question, is that necessary? Luckily, you don't have to shell out the price of a used car for a new MacBook Pro. The answer is here, used ThinkPads. This is my Lenovo ThinkPad X250. I bought it in November of 2019 for just 200 euro. But the X250 probably isn't the best choice for you. There is a huge number of options you can choose from depending on your budget. And today in this video, I'm going to give you an overview what makes ThinkPads so affordable and amazing. And then I'm going to give you a full rundown of my ThinkPad recommendations. Why ThinkPads are dope? Reason number one, affordability. As I already said, you can get these things for really good prices. Lenovo ThinkPads have been the standard business laptops for years. So many big corporations are using them. The cycle usually goes something like this. Company buys laptops from Lenovo, Company uses laptops for a few years and then company sells them for cheap. Big companies most of the time don't really care about a few hundred dollars. So they just get rid of them as fast as possible and sell them off for cheap. Oftentimes these get picked up by sellers that make sure the laptops are in a good condition. They test them, install an OS on them, take some product photos and then sell them on eBay or on their website. One example here in Germany is ThingStore24. I got my X250 through them but there are many reputable sellers on eBay for ThinkPads. The specs of my ThinkPad are 8 gigs of RAM and a 120 gig SSD it came with. And I never needed more for the bit of coding I do on here. It has an i5-5300U and even a 4G LTE module so I could pop a SIM card in here if I wanted to. This is enough performance for most coding tasks that you might want to do, like web development or running some Docker containers, some Java or Python here and there. This will easily handle those things as long as you're not working with super complex projects. This is the perfect companion if you're learning how to code and you're on a tight budget. These specs might not sound super impressive, but please remember, this laptop only cost me 200 euro. If you would try to buy a Chromebook for that money, you wouldn't get anything near this powerful. You could buy about six or seven of these for the price of one base level MacBook Pro. And for years, those MacBooks basically came with the same specs as this, an i5, 8 gigs of RAM and a 128 gig SSD. Plus, the MacBook has zero upgradability. Reason number two why ThinkPads are awesome, quality. The build quality, of course, isn't comparable to a sleek aluminum MacBook Pro. These things are mostly plastic, but they are built to last. They are built for people that throw them around all day, traveling with them, and generally, they are just a tool for you to get your work done. There are amazing videos on YouTube of people just pouring out buckets of water on old ThinkPads and they can handle it no problem. The keyboards are also really great quality, probably the best laptop keyboards you can get in my opinion. By the way, this little track point is something you'll learn to love. No need to take your hands away from the keyboard when you're typing. Reason number three why ThinkPads are dope and one of the most important, upgradability. This is an Apple land. We can actually open up our hardware and upgrade whatever the hell we want. Need more RAM? Okay, RAM is very cheap if you're not buying it from Apple. Just buy some and install it. It'll take five minutes. Want a bigger battery? Okay, just buy one and swap it. I don't even have to turn off my ThinkPad to take out the battery and swap it. It has an internal one as well. Want a better display? Okay, just buy one and swap it. It's that simple. Swapping the display in here for a 1080p IPS display would only cost me about 60 bucks and literally only a few minutes of my time. I mean, this dude is swapping his display in like 3 minutes. It's so easy. Want a huge SSD for a bunch of storage? Okay, just buy one and install it. Need a 4G module? You got it. Want a different keyboard layout? You can even change out the keyboard. These laptops are built to be easily maintainable by the company IT department and it really shows. There are also accessories you can get for cheap like a docking station. Reason number four why ThinkPads are dope. Ports. Need more than two USB-C ports? ThinkPads all have great port selection. No overpriced dongles needed. Reason number five why ThinkPads are dope. Linux compatibility. ThinkPads are known for their great Linux compatibility. Many of them ship with a licensed Windows install, but come on, who wants to code on Windows? Everybody knows coding on Windows is horrible. 
Get some Linux running on that. Enjoy the freedom of open source software. I have Manjaro running on mine and it's running super robust. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are working great. Hibernate works perfectly. I can just close the lid, let the laptop sit somewhere for a few days, come back to it, open it up and just continue where I left off. The media keys all work. I can easily hook up an external monitor. It's genuinely one of the best Linux experiences you can get on a laptop. I think it's because many of the people that are contributing to Linux distros are also running ThinkPads. And those people are making sure that their favorite distro runs perfectly on their ThinkPad. As I mentioned, I own the ThinkPad X250. Now let's take a look at the naming scheme so you can understand what you're looking at when you're browsing eBay. The X stands for the X-Series. The X-Series is thought for people who want a portable laptop. They generally have a 12.5 inch screen and are pretty light. I got an X-Series laptop because I wanted something super light and small that I could carry around campus. That didn't age well. Generally, X-Series laptop names start with A2. There is also the Ultrabook lineup called X1 Carbon, but I'd probably stay away from that if you want good performance for your money. Also, I'd stay away from anything that has Yoga or IdeaPad in the name. They just don't have the same build quality and robustness as ThinkPads. The other important series is the T-Series. They are supposed to be laptops with a good mix of mobility and performance. The number after the T for these is 4. Now, just for good measure, I'm also going to throw in the P and W series, which are the ThinkPad workstation laptops. The workstation line was called W series until 2015 and from there on was called P series. These are definitely on the chunky side. If you need a lot of performance and don't care about mobility, you might find a good deal on one of those. Now, what do the last two numbers mean? They identify the generation of laptop. In general, they increased by 10 every year. My ThinkPad X250 is from 2015 and the X260 is from 2016 and so on. There are some exceptions with this naming scheme though. I'd recommend you stay away from anything older than 2015 by now unless you're really strapped for cash. These older ThinkPads from like 2012 and before were amazing choices and they were really the pinnacle of the ThinkPad lineup. But if you want something that will serve you for a while I'd recommend going with something newer. Also, don't get anything with a 40 back here, as most of them have a wonky trackpad. If your budget is strictly around 200 bucks, get an X250 just like me. Need some more performance and have 250 to 400 bucks to spend? Take a look at the T450, T450S or T460. I'd recommend that you go with this route and spend a bit more if you can, so you can future-proof your choice and have a machine that lasts a few years longer. If you have a higher budget, just take a look at the newer generations. I hope this video helped you out in one way or another, and if it did, please consider subscribing. If you want to get in touch with me, my Instagram is at futc.coding. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.